Hi friends! In this episode, I'm gonna show you how you can easily test your components and learn about them practically using the XY feature of the oscilloscope. The first thing you need to do is to build this simple circuit on a breadboard or a prototyping board or whatever you like and then I will show you how you should configure the waveform generator and the oscilloscope. As you see on the table, I just built the circuit on a breadboard. Now I want to show you how you should configure the waveform generator. So focus... Alright, now the screen is clear. Put it on a sine wave, 100 Hz for the frequency and the amplitude, 10 volt peak to peak. Now I should turn on the output like this. You can see the waveform on the oscilloscope screen. Let me move the camera to the front and adjust the focus. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is to enable and configure the XY feature. Press the acquire and here it is. XY on. The X axis is voltage and Y axis is current. Now I wanna start the component testing by placing a 330 ohm resistor and there we go Bob's your uncle let me play with the volts division knob uh, one volt per division is much better as it is clear the quality of the plot is pretty nice here even you can configure the memory depth let me put it on 7 meg as it was selected by default now I wanna replace the resistor with an ordinary rectifier diode. Let me put it in place. So go in place please. There we go. Now I enable the cursors to measure the forward voltage. As it says it's around 0.7 volts. We were expecting this behavior from this diode, isn't it? Now I want to replace this diode with a 1N4148 silicon diode. And there we go. Let me measure this again. And this is the forward voltage of this diode. Now it's the time to test a Schottky diode. 1N5819. Okay. As it is clear, the forward voltage is lower. Let me measure it. It's around 0.2 volts. Much lower. We expect this from a Schottky diode. We reach to the interesting part, testing a Zener diode. Now I place a 3.3 Zener diode. As it is clear, the, the Zener diode in the forward BIOS behaves almost identically with, a, with an ordinary diode. However, in the reverse bias, it shows its application. As it says, it's uh, around 3.3 volts on the reverse bias. The behavior of the LEDs is also interesting. Now I want to place a white LED and see what happens. Where I put this LED? Okay, here it is. Now I place it on the breadboard. All right, interesting, isn't it? Let me move the cursor to measure the forward voltage. It says it's around 2.9 volts. Interesting. Now I replace this with an ordinary green LED. I expect to see a lower forward voltage and now it confirms. Let me move the cursor. And there we go, 1.9 volts. Although this oscilloscope is an intra-level model from Sigland, however, it showed a decent XY profile. Okay friends, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.